Don Carano, my wife Rhonda. Welcome to Ferrari Corona Winery. Rhonda and I in the last 30 years have developed this winery with one thing in mind, that stands for excellence. And with that in mind, we have developed so many aspects of the winery. One of what I think is most important is the fact that substantially all of our wines come from vineyards that we own, operate, and farm ourselves. Ferrari Corona not only stands for quality and excellence, as Don has mentioned, but also for an appreciation of how a wine marries with food. Our portfolio of wines showcase the unique flavors of each varietal in a style that can be enjoyed by you, at home, or at a restaurant. We thank you for your support of Ferrari Corona Wines. Hi, I'm Steve Domenichelli, Director of Vineyard Operations for Ferrari Corona Vineyards and Winery. We have 21 different vineyard locations. Um, they range from Philo and Anderson Valley all the way to Napa and Carneros, um, through the valley of Dry Creek and Alexander Valley on both sides. Two things, gentle and balance. We're farming gently and with balance, so we're letting the vineyards make the wine. We give that to the winemaker, and the vineyard can express the soil that's there. If it's a shallow soil, if it's a deep soil, if it's got rocks and cobblers, if it's got a different magnesium or calcium to it, all that comes out into the wine. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Quiter and I am the white wine maker for Ferrari Chrono Vineyards and Winery. And today I'm going to talk to you about our Sonoma County Chardonnay. Um, it is made actually right here in this um, wine cellar, our underground cellar here at the Estate Winery in Dry Creek Valley. Our Chardonnay comes from various um, vineyards throughout Sonoma County, Russian River, Carneros, and Alexander Valley, which is mainly Alexander Valley. But each of these little vineyards give a little bit of a nuance to the final blend and they each of them bring um, a flavor profile and an aroma profile that makes it to the blend. So once the fruit comes to the winery what we do is we crush and press the uh, grapes and then the juice gets cold settled in the stainless steel tanks for about two days and then all of the juice is um, put down to barrel and we do 100 percent barrel fermentations on our Chardonnay. But it's not 100 percent new French oak it's about 35 percent new French oak 30% one-year-old and another 30% as a two-year-old barrel. So once the juice is done fermenting and it is now wine, we also put the wine through a malolactic fermentation. So we stir the lees every two weeks uh, for 10 months and what we do is, um, what that does is it makes the wine just rounder and softer and it softens the finish and the palate of the wine. So in the end, I think what we get is a wine that's got wonderful aromas of apples and pears and honeysuckle and there's the floral characteristics, the creamy amel, the little toasty oak, the graham cracker oak from all the barrel fermentations. And it's just a wonderful, soft, elegant, easy drinking Chardonnay. I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm.